Forget the lines on the map, kids. Out here, they mean nothing. We're talking about a place where countries collide, literally. South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mozambique. Their borders tangle up in a sweaty, sun-baked knot. A no-man's land. A haven for smugglers, poachers, gunrunners, and the ghosts of their victims. This is Crook's Corner. You won't find it in any guidebooks. Not the ones worth reading anyway. This is a place you hear about in hushed tones, whispered stories passed from one grizzled traveler to the next. Tales of daring escapes, shady deals gone wrong, and fortunes lost and found in the blink of an eye. This isn't Disneyland, folks. This is the real deal. Raw, untamed, and unforgiving. But for those with a taste for adventure, a thirst for the unknown, and a healthy dose of respect for the wild, Crook's Corner offers a glimpse into a world untouched by the ordinary. Are you ready to walk on the wild side? So why Crook's Corner, you ask? Well, let's just say this place has a past, a dark, twisted, and utterly captivating past. Back in the day, this remote corner of Africa was a haven for all sorts of colorful characters. We're talking smugglers, poachers, gun runners, you name it, they probably did it here. See, the confluence of these three borders created a jurisdictional nightmare. Nobody knew or maybe cared who was in charge. It was the perfect place to disappear, to move illegal goods, to outrun the law, or in some cases, to meet a sticky end. This was the stomping ground of legendary outlaws like Joao Albacini, a Portuguese trader who ruled the area with an iron fist and a blind eye to the law. Ivory, diamonds, guns, if it could be smuggled, it came through Crook's Corner. And where there's easy money, there's always blood. The stories are as numerous as they are gruesome. Lost gold mines, cursed diamonds, and the restless spirits of those who met their demise in this unforgiving landscape. But hey, don't let that scare you off. It just adds to the atmosphere, right? Now I could regale you with stories of these legendary crooks all day. Take Cecil Rhodes, for example, mining magnate, imperialist, all-around shady character. He saw the potential of Crook's Corner not for its lawlessness, but for its strategic location. He envisioned a railroad cutting through the heart of Africa, connecting Cape to Cairo. Crook's Corner was right in the middle of it all. Of course, not everyone was thrilled about Rhodes' grand plans. The local tribes, who had been navigating this land for centuries, weren't too keen on having their world carved up by railroads and diamond mines. And then there were the Boers, those tough-as-nails Afrikaners who had their own ideas about who should control South Africa. Let's just say things got a little complicated. There were wars, rebellions, treaties made and broken. Crook's Corner became a pawn in a much larger game, a battleground for empires and fortunes. And through it all, the stories grew wilder, the legends more unbelievable. But hey, that's what makes this place so damn interesting, right? Here's a little geography lesson, kids. Crook's Corner sits at the meeting point of the Limpopo and Luvuvu rivers. Follow the Limpopo east and you'll hit Mozambique. Head south along the Luvuvu and you're in South Africa. And just across the Limpopo, nestled in the crook of the river bend, lies Botswana. Now imagine you're a crook on the run, a smuggler with a wagon full of contraband. You could skip across the river, change your story, and blend right in. The authorities wouldn't know what hit them, at least that was the idea. Of course, the rivers themselves presented their own challenges. Hippos, crocs, flash floods, nature could be just as unforgiving as the human inhabitants of this land. But that's the thing about Crook's Corner. It attracts a certain type of person. Someone who thrives on risk, who laughs in the face of danger. Someone who, for better or worse, wants to live life on their own terms. Section five, finding the corner, embark on your own adventure. So you want to experience Crook's Corner for yourself? Good for you, just promise me you'll be careful out there. First things first, you're going to need a good map, and I'm not talking about those GPS things city folk are so fond of. I'm talking about a real map with contour lines and everything. Why? Because Crook's Corner isn't some tourist trap with paved roads and neon signs. It's wild, untamed, and damn proud of it. You'll be driving through Kruger National Park, one of the largest game reserves in Africa. Elephants, lions, rhinos, you might just bump into them on your way to the corner. Consider it a bonus adventure. From Johannesburg, it's about a six hour drive. Take the N1 north, then hang a right at Polokwane and follow the signs for the park. Once you're inside, ask a ranger for directions to Pafuri Gate. That's your gateway to Crook's Corner. But a word of advice, don't try to be a hero. This ain't the movies. 
Respect the wildlife, respect the locals, and respect the history that seeps from every inch of this land. Section six, the road less traveled, navigating the wilds of Limpopo. Now, once you're inside Kruger National Park, get ready for a bumpy ride. The roads to Crook's Corner are not for the faint of heart. We're talking dirt tracks, river crossings, and the occasional herd of elephants blocking your path. But hey, that's all part of the adventure, right? I recommend a four x four vehicle. Something with some ground clearance and a good set of tires, and for God's sake, make sure you've got a spare tire, a jack, and some basic tools. You don't want to be caught out here with your pants down. Literally, as you make your way through the park, keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see some of Africa's most iconic creatures in their natural habitat. Lions lounging in the shade, elephants bathing in watering holes, giraffes gracefully grazing on acacia trees. It's like stepping into a National Geographic documentary, but remember this is their home, not yours. Keep a safe distance, don't make any sudden movements, and for heaven's sake, don't try to feed them, you're not at the zoo. Section 7. Beyond the corner treasures of the northern Lowveld, once you've paid your respects to the ghosts of Crook's Corner, there's still plenty to see and do in this part of the world. The northern Lowveld region of Limpopo is a hidden gem with stunning landscapes, fascinating cultural experiences and adventures to suit every taste. Head east to the Kruger National Park's Pafuri region. Here, ancient baobab trees stand like sentinels over the land, some over a thousand years old. Legend has it that these giants hold the spirits of ancestors, whispering secrets on the wind. For the bird watchers out there, Pafuri is a paradise. Over 400 species of birds call this area home, including the elusive Pell's fishing owl and the majestic Marshall Eagle. Grab your binoculars and get ready to tick off some lifers. If you're looking for a cultural experience, pay a visit to the nearby Makuleki village. This community, once forcibly removed from their ancestral lands during apartheid, has returned to reclaim their heritage and share it with visitors learn about their traditions, their connection to the land, and their hopes for the future. Section 8, Sunset on the Savannah, savour the magic of Crook's Corner. As the sun begins its descent, casting long shadows across the savannah, find yourself a good spot to soak it all in. Maybe it's on the banks of the Limpopo River, watching the hippos wallow and the crocodiles bask in the fading light, or perhaps it's under the sprawling branches of a baobab tree, listening to the wind whisper tales of times gone by. There's a certain magic to Crook's Corner, a palpable energy that lingers in the air. It's the weight of history, the raw beauty of the landscape, the knowledge that you're standing on the edge of something truly wild and untamed. As the stars begin to twinkle in the vast African sky, take a moment to appreciate the silence. The only sounds are the chirping of crickets, the distant howl of a jackal and the gentle murmur of the river. It's a symphony of nature untouched by the noise and chaos of the modern world. This is what it means to be truly present, to connect with something larger than yourself. This is the essence of Crook's Corner. Section nine, the call of the wild, why you should answer. So why should you visit Crook's Corner? It's not for everyone, that's for sure. But if you're looking for an adventure off the beaten path, a chance to step back in time and experience the raw beauty of Africa, then this is the place for you. Come for the history, the stories of outlaws and adventurers, the echoes of a time when the world felt a little wilder, a little less predictable. Stay for the stunning landscapes, the incredible wildlife, and the chance to reconnect with nature in its purest form. Crook's Corner is a reminder that there are still places in this world untouched by the homogenizing forces of globalization. Places where the past whispers on the wind, where adventure awaits around every corner, and where the human spirit can still find solace in the wild embrace of nature. So, what are you waiting for? Answer the call of the wild. And pack your bags, grab your sense of adventure, and head to Crook's Corner. You won't regret it. Section 10. Until next time, leaving Crook's Corner, but not its stories. You'll carry a piece of it with you. The stories, the landscapes, the encounters, they'll stay with you. Crook's Corner has changed you. It's opened your eyes to a different way of seeing the world, but don't let the adventure end there. 
Keep exploring, keep seeking out the extraordinary. Until then, safe travels, my friend.